Hello, this is Heather with KeepItSimpleSocialMedia.com, and I have a question from Kirk with the AutoSale101.com. And Kirk's question is, Heather, how do I put the Facebook logo into my signature on Outlook? And thank you for letting me know that the link that I posted a couple of days ago was not working. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to get our vanity URL so we know what it is. Let's click Edit Page. From here, let's go to Update Information. And now we land on our Basic Information tab. And right here where it says Username, this is your vanity URL or your address. For Facebook business page and in my case mine is keep it simple social media but I will show you that the very first time you go on to your business page from your personal profile so we click the drop down arrow we go to our business page if you look up into the URL at the very top you will notice that right there is your vanity URL as well now as you move around Facebook that vanity URL will change because you go to other pages. So this is how we add our Facebook logo to our signature. The first thing you need to do is you need to go into Google and you need to search Facebook icon. Once you search the icon, you need to then copy and paste the icon into a folder or onto your desktop. Now please remember that most of these icons, if you look at the size, is 300 by 300. That's too big to paste into your signature. So you do need to resize it or find one that's under, let's say, 100 by 100. So once you have your logo, you're ready to get started. So now let's go and copy the logo. And for me, I've just dropped it right here on my desktop. I copy it. I then open my Outlook. I go into my toolbar. At the bottom, I click on Options. From Options, I hit Mail Format, and then I click on Signatures. Now, this brings up the box where I'd like to put my Facebook logo. And I'm going to stick it right here. So I right-click and I paste the logo in. And as you see, it looks very good right there. I'm going to type, please follow me. Or actually, I'm going to say, please click the like button. Okay, and I'm going to do two things here. One is I'm going to click on the logo, and then I'm going to go to the far right side, and right here, this says hyperlink. This is how you insert the link to the Facebook logo. At the very bottom down here, it says address. The address that they're looking for is your vanity URL or your Facebook address. In my case, mine is http colon forward slash forward slash www.facebook.com forward slash and then whatever your vanity URL is. In my case, it is keep it simple social media, double check, it's correct. And I go ahead and now the logo is linked. I then want to click the like and I'm going to hyperlink that as well. And then I just reinsert exactly the same thing I just did. And there it comes up automatically. Just click the end down here and it will stay. And then click OK. Click OK. And then you want to click OK again. And then you always want to send yourself a really quick email just to make sure, in fact, that that hyperlink is working. And go ahead and send the mail to yourself as a test. You need to go into your inbox. You need to send and receive. And it should pop up any time now. Oh, there it goes. It just left my outbox. And it's in my inbox. And now I open it and I go ahead and I click on the F. And notice it takes me right to my Facebook business page. Now it makes me land on my admin panel because it's my page. Most people, in fact everyone, is going to land right here. Just the same place that everyone lands when we go to someone's page for the first time. And I'm also going to double check the other link. Remember I linked, please click the like button. And I click it. And yes, once again, it takes me directly to my Facebook business page. So, Kirk, thank you for the question. I hope this helps. And let's keep it simple.